Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. you've had occasion to try and analyze the arguments used by the various skeptics and, and debunkers and I'm sure these arguments fall into various categories some are legitimate methodological criticisms but many of them are they seem to be emotionally based and in, in, in a way well beyond the uh, level of normal academic discourse one of the striking things I feel I've noticed is that Academics who are opposed to psi research in general often resort to sleazy or clearly defective dialectical tactics whose flaws they'd be quick to recognize if the arguments had been directed against them. Mm -hmm. For example, straw man arguments, generalizing from the weakest cases. I see that all the time in parapsychology. Uh, one clear example would be uh, Trevor Hall, who wrote a book about the medium D.D. Hume. Mm -hmm. His book on D.D. Hume spends about a quarter of the entire book discussing one of the most poorly documented cases in Hume's entire career, a levitation outside the window of Ashley House, or an mm -hmm. alleged levitation. This is in the 19th century. Yes, mm -hmm. right. It's a case that is absolutely immaterial to evaluating the mediumship of Hume altogether. And while Hall obsesses about that case. He never discusses the strongest pieces of evidence. Mm -hmm. But it seems to me in parapsychology, it's precisely the strongest pieces of evidence that matter, the ones that are hardest yeah. to explain away. Well, and what puzzles me is that many skeptics who are clearly not familiar with all the literature in parapsychology and related fields are, are very quick to use this phrase. I've heard it over and over again. There is not a shred of evidence. They love that word, shred. Not a shred. <laughs> it's true, and fortunately, it's very easy to show if you have the right kind of public forum that these people are just posturing and bluffing. Mm -hmm. Because if you ask them to demonstrate their command of the evidence, they can't do it. And I've had the pleasure of doing that on any number of occasions, but mm -hmm. it's very easy to make such people look like fools. Well, it's very difficult then for people to pursue research in these areas. It's as if there are social pressures not to inquire at all. Yes. Um, I used to find that my students uh, who were majoring in psychology were being threatened by their mentors in the psychology department not to take my seminar, my upper level seminar in philosophy and parapsychology. They were being threatened with various kinds of reprisals. And why, why, why go that far? That's hard to analyze. Mm -hmm. I think in the case of psychologists who seem to be more militant about this than, say, people in physics, mm -hmm. it may be because psychology is uh, already being impugned as being a soft science or not as tough or legitimate a science as physics and chemistry and some other physical sciences. Mm -hmm. So psychologists may be on the defensive already. Well, it's as if the the very notion that there might be anything at all to extrasensory perception, telepathy, psychokinesis is enormously threatening to uh, some people, to their worldview. It is, and I think it's really easy to show in connection with psychokinesis or PK. Think of it this way. Yeah. If somebody can move a matchstick, a millimeter by thought alone, mm -hmm. it's a very small step conceptually from doing that to making somebody drop dead by thought alone. Mm -hmm. So the existence of any psychokinesis at all forces us to take seriously a kind of magical worldview, which most of us associate, usually condescendingly, only with so-called primitive cultures. Right. It's a worldview according to which we might have to take seriously um, such unsavory consequences as um, people having accidents. Uh, or the things that we think of as the evil eye or hexing. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there are parts of the world, usually un undeveloped countries, where that sort of thing goes down rather smoothly. But in most developed countries, it causes just mm -hmm. the opposite reaction. Yeah.